Well, it is time for our Friday free for all. This is what we do every Friday. We ask you to ask us some questions. So a lot of you wait in. We had over 50 questions come in on Ooh. our PTL Facebook page, which by the way, if you weren't watching early in the week, we got more than 10,000 followers. <gasps> over 10K. That is such a great milestone. It's a big, it was a big mm. moment for us. Big We're very excited. Okay, so we want to get to some of your questions. Um, first of all, we want to say uh, congratulations to Tony Remus. He, he commented, this spring I will be a 20-year cancer survivor. So congrats on that. Now, he does say that he is currently fighting another type of cancer. We wish him well in that. He's undergoing chemo treatments right now, which is why he is able to watch our show. Um, and he says that he's enjoyed it so much. So he's wondering if any of you are cancer survivors or have experienced helping care uh, for a loved one with cancer. I have not. We have been very fortunate in my family to not have any instances of cancer. Um, for that, I am very thankful. So. We, my grandmother, my dad's mom, Virginia, she passed away, but she actually had lung cancer for years. She survived, I think it was close to 10 to 12 years that she survived with it. Wow. Yeah, so. Well, Tony, we wish you well as you continue to um, battle with this round of cancer and getting your cancer or chemo treatments. Um, Wendy Edwards also commenting, for all, what is your dream vacation? Oh. Do you have one? There are so many places I want to go to in the world, Heather, but I think uh, my, I would really like to do maybe Bora Bora. I would Bora love to Bora. stay in one of those bungalows on oh, the water. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, I was able to go to Hawaii once. I'd love to go oh. back one time if I could. I would love to do that, too. Um, okay, and so Bernadette Arnold says she <laughs> wants to see more pictures of Rocco. Who doesn't? And that's like every mom's dream. You're just ate, w waiting for somebody to ask you <laughs> if there's a picture of your baby. Do we share. have more to share? Oh, we do. Oh, Take good. a look at this. No, no. We, it, this has been going on for about a week what did now, you say? and we finally were able to capture it on camera because we, if we prompt him to say "dada," he won't do it. But now oh. he's just kind of babbling. Is it really his first word? I don't know. But we're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. Does he say "mom"? Not yet. Not yet. We're working on that one. Dad, that was first. Gail wants to know: Will Team PTL ever work with the show? Uh, work the show with a live audience? Oh, which would be a blast. But you have had experience with the Home and Garden show. Yes, and we will again. March sixth is the first Friday that we'll have our our live audience, and then the last Friday, because you know that Home and Garden show is ten days long. Mm -hmm. um, so the last one will be Friday, March thirteenth. We're looking forward to that. It's always so much fun. The tickets go so fast. Yeah. So as soon as we know uh, when those tickets go. Up, we will let you know. Because yeah, there's always, always a huge crowd. There, I remember yeah. last year. It's so much fun, and I think this year is going to be even better because we have assembled such a wonderful team. Yeah, I can't wait for it. It'll be a blast. I remember last year I, I did a live shot holding the chicken. It was a, I love that. <laughs> One of my favorite moments. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Beth wants to know when we plan on using our new kitchen. And she actually met, met us at the Home and Garden show last year. Oh, okay. Her husband was there. Soon, and I think. End of the month, we're Soon. hoping. Fingers crossed. It looks so great. It does. Oh my goodness. It's, I know all the cooks can't wait to get in there. See, you know, like the end of the construction is always the worst because you're it looks almost done, but there's mm -hmm. still some final things that need to be done, like lighting, especially for our us. It takes a while, but soon, a couple more weeks. Okay, do you want to ask Ron this yes. last question? Because this is. <laughs> I heard you talking about this yesterday when yes. we were at Hidden Valley. So this is from Tom Keniston. He said, Ron, when you have a Snickers, do you eat it from the side <laughs> like you were playing I, a I, harmonica? I one. Oh. Are you going to open that? Are you feeling hangry? <laughs> yeah, so he asked if I eat it like this, well, like, I, like I'm playing harmonica, it. or if I eat it like normal, you know? Um, and I eat it like normal, but I will say, <laughs> like this one, I find it more fiber if I just leave the wrapper on it. So I just eat. I'm just joking. I, I, I don't. Can we just see you? Can we just see you try and eat it like Take a harmonica? A Does it even work? Can, I, we, can I, we see it? I, I, it's a waste of a Snickers. I'll like, do that it would then. Be Bring so it over sad. here. Yeah, we'll, we'll eat I'll it. toss like it to that. you. <laughs> okay. Go. All right. Thanks so much, Ron. All right. We want to get to a really positive story today. Yep. I'm so happy to share this with you. Rebecca Silbuca is a teacher at West Mifflin. She teaches Spanish at the high school there. And uh, she contacted us because she said that 
She's sick of hearing about so many negative stories, and it does happen. I mean, we have to cover that on the news side of things here at KDKA, and uh, we have to bring people what's happening in their neighborhoods. But she wants to spread positive news, and so yeah. this was her way of doing this. So she had this idea back in 2018, and she has her Spanish club at yeah. the high school involved in this, and they were challenged with trying to get an Eaton Park cookie to every single student and staff member at the school. Do you know how many cookies they had? 1,612 cookies. That's a lot of cookies. And this is similar to a candy gram. I yeah, remember I did this right. in grade school and high school. But the nice thing about what they're doing at West Mifflin is they want to make sure that everyone gets one. Everyone gets one. So um, they had a surplus this year, 300 extra cookies. They're finding, trying to find a positive way to distribute those extra cookies now. Mm -hmm. um, but here's the really neat thing. So last year, they were able to give proceeds from the sale of the cookies to the Tree of Life Victims and Families Fund. Mm -hmm. This year, $325 extra dollars they raised, and that will go to the West Mifflin Pay It Forward Scholarship. This was something that was actually created um, by alumni back in 2014 mm -hmm. to give scholarships to deserving students. And because of that scholarship fund last year, there were, I think, seven yes. students awarded $500 grants. Yeah, what, and what a simple thing to do. Right. To cookies. Raise so much money. Yeah, absolutely. So keep it it's going, nice Rebecca. Cookies. We love it. Yeah, I'm glad she shared that with I you. I am too. Mm -hmm. I am too. All right, so tomorrow is the one year anniversary of Frizzy Day in <gasps> Pittsburgh. I love Frizzy. He's so much fun. I know. I used to work with Harvey Daniels, aka Frizzy. Is that his? Uh, I didn't know his. Oh, real yeah. Name. Back in college, I actually did his YouTube videos, The Frizzy Feed. Really? Yeah. So I'll really have to show you later. Him. Yeah, we worked together, so I did updates on all of his new music that he was releasing and some of his music videos. It was fun. So he actually won an <laughs> Emmy for the video that we're going to show you right now, and this was uh, something that was produced by WQED to pay tribute to Mr. Rogers. And he's kind of taken off from there. Yep. Oh, he's been everywhere. So what are we doing tomorrow, Heather? This this is tomorrow at the Block Northway. They are hosting the Guinness World Record attempt. So this will run from tomorrow up until Sunday until 5 p.m. This is and insane. this will be for the longest freestyle rap. 31 hours they're going for. 31, 31 hours. hours. Is that possible? I don't know. I mean, does he get to stop to eat, to go to the bathroom? I, I'm sure there has to be some sort of, uh, there have to be rules in place there has to allow to be. for a little. But he will take suggestions. So this is this is fun because he's involving people. Mm -hmm. You can come up to the booth where they are. You can provide some suggestions if you want him to rap about something in particular. I'm sure he's going to run out of content. Oh, my gosh. Could you imagine how he's feeling? I'm sure very nervous. But now I'm thinking, you said... He has to get breaks. Maybe he will have a microphone on him when he has to you take a bathroom break, and we maybe he'll not. keep going. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. We'll we find out. Headed to the bathroom with Frizzy. <laughs> no. All right. Well